So are people pissed that you're visiting these Apollo sites? You know, it, it, <laughs> some of them are, actually. It's, um, it's a situation where people were so emotionally attached to those Apollo missions, mm -hmm. and people remember where they were when they watched it. They remember being with their family, gathered around the TV, all the drama and suspense about the first footsteps of human beings on another body. And, and when we announced this prize, and specifically when we announced that one of the bonuses actually calls for people to go and revisit these sites, some people said, wait, 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 you can't do that. That's, that's like going into a, a museum and, and stepping beyond the barricades and touching everything. <laughs> uh, so we recognize that, and we recognize that it is very important that when we visit these sites, it be done in a respectful fashion. But that said, if you look at all of our precious artifacts, whether they're man-made or whether it's you know, the natural splendor of the earth, uh, the way we treat them is not to put them uh, somewhere where no one can see them. We make sure that if it's a national park, sure, there are places you can't touch and you can't cut a tree down, but there's a path that you can walk and you can take pictures of it to show your family and you can even take pictures of it to sell. That's the way that we get more people to appreciate these things uh, and to understand what they're all about and why they're cool in the first place. Uh, so all of our teams are gonna be looking and really experts from a variety of fields, not just space geeks like myself, but historians and philosophers are gonna be sort of thinking about this issue of how do we respectfully treat this history? How do we take these absolutely unique sites you know, that, that for many people represent the crowning achievement of humankind throughout history uh, and make sure that they're preserved for future generations to appreciate, but that we don't pay the price of having to ignore them in order to do that preservation. Um, so our teams are working on that. It, it's something that is, uh, you know, is, is great food for a conversation over a cup of coffee or a beer. Um, <laughs> and it's something where we don't have a specific answer in mind. We don't have, a, our rules don't spell out, you must remain this far away exactly and come no closer because we're not sure what that distance is. And, and that distance may be different depending on the specifics of your mission or the specifics of where you're going. You know, it's a lot different if you're talking about the, you know, the last Neil Armstrong footprint on, on Apollo 11 versus footprint number 742 on Apollo 14, something like that, where if you can sort of uh, maybe obscure one of those things in order to better see and better educate and better inspire using the other things, you know, maybe there is a, a, is a way that that can be done acceptably. We don't have all the answers. We're looking forward to, you know, hosting those conversations, to, to driving that thought process uh, so that people can really think about this for the first time. It's not something we've ever had to think about before. Right.